Welcome, welcome back, everybody. This is the Pop Culture Junkie. Thank you for tuning in for another special Wrestle Crate unboxing. This is the 2015 October Ultimate Wrestle Crate. If you're not familiar with them, check out my other videos on my channel. You'll see I've been reviewing them ever since I started. They send you a monthly box of all types of really awesome wrestling memorabilia. So yes, if you, if you heard me right, pro wrestling memorabilia, not sports entertainment. It is pro wrestling. They send you all types of goodies. They send you shirts. They send you trading cards, action figures, pops. You never know what you're going to get. DVDs included sometimes. Uh, they always try to go unique, I know. But so we're going to see what we got for October. Uh, would really love got something to do with like Halloween Havoc or something to do with like the Boogeyman or who knows something cool like that. Let's see what we got. This is again the October 2015 uh, Ultimate Crate, and I say Ultimate because they do have a standard crate and they have a Ultimate Crate. Of course, I had to go Ultimate, and I've been getting the Ultimate since day one. Let's see what we have for us. Okay, so first of all, I see we got a towel. And it says, Super Kick the Face, Show No Mercy, The Young Bucks. Okay, I mean, I've heard of them. I've seen them wrestle. That, okay, it's a, it's a good tag team. So that's cool. Got a little uh, towel. Can uh, wave around uh, if I'm in the audience uh, at, a li at a live show for them. Uh, we've got a t-shirt. And I do like the color. I like, I like the color. We don't have, you know, color shirts usually. It's always like white or black, so... We have a red or dark red shirt, but it just says Pro Wrestling Tees, okay? I mean, that makes me feel like I'm just a walking billboard to them. Uh, I'm used to seeing something with a wrestler or catchphrases, but... Huh, okay. Uh, that's strange to me. Uh, kind of wish there was something else on this shirt, people. Because, uh, yeah, it just feels like I'm, I'm, I'm just going to walk around advertising this company. Uh, not really, yeah. I mean, put the logo on the back of the shirt and put a cool design on the front, something, but, yeah. Okay. Next, we've got Ring of Honor DVD, uh, from 2012, Battle of Richmond. Alright, so we've got, uh, a Lights Out match with Jay Briscoe versus Charlie Haas. We got, uh, Kevin Owens is in there. We got David Richards. Uh, so, okay, we got some good talent. Uh, just, it's a three-year, three-year-old, uh, show. Uh, you know, I'm still waiting to see another WWF uh, pay-per-view or D WWF uh, DVD or VHS, even maybe a WCW something or other, because uh, we're getting a lot of Ring of Honor or uh, indie promotion stuff. Not really getting a lot of mainstream. I haven't even seen a TNA item yet, so just wish they would change it up a little bit more. Uh, get get something you know more mainstream at times. We got a little piece of artwork of Rhino on a little postcard. Okay, they've been including those in every box lately. We have a autograph picture of Chavo Guerrero Jr. from Lucha Underground and WWF and WCW and TNA. So very cool. Uh, that's awesome. Okay, uh, I like the autographs. Let's see, we have a uh, poster, and it's a poster of House of Hardcore present two nights of extreme action. We got uh, Little Guido, we got Bobby Roode, Tommy Dreamer, Rhino, Biss. So very cool. little poster to hang up uh, in your uh, garage or something. All right. Uh, all right, what else? Uh, okay, last item in the box is a wrestling figure pack. Okay, you get the box is empty. And it's a two-pack wrestling figure pack of Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins with the uh, Money in the Bank briefcase. Uh, very cool. Uh, I don't have these figures, but uh, I've said this before. I'm saying it again. Uh, this is horrible. Look at the condition of this. I know it's in a subscription box. I know it's limited space, but this is bad, people. Okay, this is bad. Okay, what? Uh, I keep my figures nice and neat and, and protected, and this is bad for me. Okay, I, just, I, I can't stand seeing any kind of dent or whatnot. Uh, you see the creases all along the back here. Uh, oh, wow, look, okay, I just took it out of the box, people, and look, right there. I mean, yeah, I get that there's some people that, oh, well, I'm going to crack it open and play with these. That's not me. I want to keep these to protect them and collect them and have them on display. So, uh, yeah, I, I wish they would come up with a better setup of their boxes so that the figures don't uh, arrive damaged. I've had a couple other figures where the packaging up here was bent because they had to, you know, squeeze it in. I get that, but I just wish they'd stick with smaller cases or small or smaller uh, figure packs. So, uh, I have to say, I'm not really thrilled with this box. Uh, it's 
it's a strange feeling because I've, I've usually enjoyed all the boxes I got from them, but uh, the shirt was not impressive, the DVD is old, and the uh, figure uh, package being uh, messed up uh, kind of put a downer on me. Uh, I'm not saying I'm done with them. I, I liked all the boxes I've gotten before, so I'm going to stick with them, but hopefully we get some uh, changes uh, next month because uh, I would like to see, again, a little bit more some new stuff, but also some different classic stuff, not just old DVDs by the last few years or so. Let's see some older t tapes or DVD. Uh, let's see some classic stuff from the 70s. Let's see some NWA stuff. Uh, let's see some uh, WCW. Let's see something. Just I wish they changed it up more. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you uh, enjoyed your box if you got one of your own. And if you want to share some comments and uh, feedback, hit me up with some comments below or hit me up on Facebook, my Facebook page at The Pop Culture Junkie. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're a first-time viewer. I've got more videos you're not going to uh, not going to be disappointed with, and i got more to come. All right. Till later, this is The Pop Culture Junkie. Take care, and thank you for watching.